and therefore uh, thus after the elevation in boiling point now we will explain the third one is the depression in freezing freezing point it is opposite to the boiling point the temperature at which solid and liquid coexist is called freezing point then when non volatile solute is added when non volatile solute is added to a added to a pure volatile solvent which causes the depression in freezing point let t1 degree celsius freezing point of pure solvent t2 degree celsius is equal to freezing point of solution then what is delta tf not t1 minus t2 because of freezing point of solvent is greater than the solution now graph for depression in freezing point this side it is the vapor pressure and this side it is the temperature in kelvin thus this is the solution and this is the solvent solution is t2 it is the t2 and it is what is that t1 because of solvent has more freezing point than the solution therefore this line is here and this is the frozen solvent a temperature at which solid and liquid coexist is the frozen it is the frozen solvent and this is the solution containing non volatile solute and then this is the solvent so what is the delta tf delta tf is t1 minus t2 it is the bigger line it is the smaller line it is the vapor pressure of solution it is the vapor pressure of the solvent so the way according to rolls law delta tf is directly proportional to the molarity and delta tf is equal to kf into molarity it's the equation y what is kf kf is the molar depression constant kf is the molar depression constant or it is called as cryoscopic constant or cryoscopic constant when the molarity of the solution is 1 same way as we have already explained elevation in boiling point is called cryoscopic constant there students delta tf is equal to kf into 1 so delta tf is equal to what is that kf tell me when depression and freezing point becomes equal to the cryoscopic constant when the molarity of solution is 1 that means one mole of solute is dissolving 1 kg of solvent at the time molarity of the solution is 1 or unity put the value of m in equation 1 and you know it very well molarity So m is equal to W B upon M B number of moles of solute into thousand upon W A. Thus equation one becomes equation one is delta T F into K F into 
WB upon MB into 1000 upon what is there? WA. Thus, putting all these values, we can calculate the molar mass of non volatile solute. All these parameters are given, then we can calculate the molar mass of unknown non volatile solute and found to be inversely proportional to the molar mass. So again we have proved qualitative property is inversely proportional to the molar mass of non volatile solute. Important question pertaining to depression and freezing point. Question is why is NaCl or CaCl to add it to clear the snow from roads in hilly station because whenever they cause impurity whenever you add NaCl or CaCl2 your answer should be which causes the depression in freezing point which causes the depression in freezing point because your freezing point is going to be depressed and ice starts melting and road becomes clear the question again in different way why is ethylene glycol added in car radiator because you know it everybody ethylene glycol or you can say glycol both are same thing so the glycol acts as de-icing agent de-icing agent and coolant which once again causes which causes the depression in freezing point that is why ethylene glycol or glycol can be added in car radiator so the purpose is which causes the depression in freezing point so see question is which has more depression in freezing point trifluoroacetic acid difluoro anybody can solve this question yes yes dichloro sorry difluoro acetic acid monofluoro acetic acid and finally it is acetic acid what is your answer trifluoro acetic acid difluoro acetic acid fluoroacetic acid or acetic acid more the number of particle forms more the colligative property because colligative property is directly proportional to the number of particles formed it is highly electronegative so it will create the more strain and it will be easily dissociated more the number of electronegative elements greater the colligative property as such colligative property is inversely proportional to the boiling point uh, the depression and freezing point so colligative property here directly proportional to the number of particles formed but which is more freezing point from the above question which has more freezing point than the situation is changed so far as in the first question that was the right answer in the second question answer is reversed acetic acid has more than fluoro acetic acid has more than CH2F CH CS3 
CH F2 CH 2F and sorry CH3 COH CH 2F COOH is greater than CH F2 COOH and finally CF3 COOH because it is not the based on the depression and freezing point but it is based on the freezing point. So freezing point is inversely proportional to the qualitative property but depression and freezing point is directly proportional to the qualitative property.